Well, after dropping the doubles point, Texas comes on strong in the singles and defeats Texas Tech 4-1 to move to 10-1 and at home this season. And uh, head coach Michael Center joining us now down at courtside. Coach, congratulations on your 300th win as head coach. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. I've got to tell you if you can kind of give us the gist of the message to your team after the doubles. I don't think that can be repeated. Well, on that's air. why I said the gist of it, you know, not the, the actual words. The gist <laughs> of it was I was very disappointed in our energy and our attitude um, at two and three doubles. I'll be very frank. We, we just didn't. We didn't have the eye of the tiger. We, we had plenty of opportunities that we had love 40, 15, 40, 30, 40. And we just didn't even put the ball in play. We just didn't. We didn't make plays there, and we didn't have the energy that we talked about having because I thought at one double today we were exceptional. That's a good team, and we really played well. Uh, so I thought that was a point that, that we had opportunity to grab, and we put our backs against the wall, and, and I think we played some really outstanding singles today, though, uh, to come back and win that match against a really good team. Coach, we were both really impressed as well with how Soren and, and Lloyd jumped out in the doubles and felt like that was a predictor for how they would both play in singles. Talk about how well Soren played out there in the singles. Well, I wish I could, but I didn't see one shot, John. I was on the on the back side, but I was following the score on my phone. And, um, you know, he practiced. He was pretty disappointed about last weekend. He didn't feel good. There's no excuse. Those were two very good players. But I, I sensed he would be ready to go today. And uh, he practiced really well this week. And so I, it didn't surprise me. And I, I really did like the way they played in doubles. They didn't overplay any balls today. They, they made them volley the ball up all day long. They hit a high percentage of first serves. They moved a lot. I, I thought they were really efficient today. So it didn't surprise me that they came out and played good singles as well. Coach, what are your expectations now from this point forward with this team? Well, you know, it's still April. You, you, the NCAA championships are, are obviously middle to end of May. We still have to get better. We, we still are letting some points and some opportunities get by. I think we've lost three or four doubles points this year where we actually had match point. We had one today at two doubles. And uh, we've just got to execute a little bit better. we got to return the ball better. We worked hard on that in, in practice. You know, we've talked about being able to serve the ball better and return the ball better. And we still got to do those two things uh, a little more efficiently in, in, the, under, in the moment, too. And if we can do that, um, you know, Claymont is, is coming on at six. I, I feel like we're, we're getting stronger. We're actually getting better. So if we can keep improving, you know, I think we've got a shot. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Coach Michael Center uh, winning his 300th match as head coach. And he's passing the headset over to Soren Hess Olson. Uh, Soren, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, how fun was it to play in front of your family? Oh, it was it was fun. I uh, I never really get to try that over here, and they haven't seen me play much the last four years. So, but I should have given them a Danish flag with them. So, <laughs> so oh yeah. But no, no, it's really cool. What a day for them to watch. Talk about that doubles match that you and Lloyd Glass will really set the tone with. Yeah, we we played well today. I uh, I think. Lloyd and I play best when, when we are very solid and when we, we have confidence in our serves and our returns. Uh, I think we have a very good breaking team. Um, so the difference today was that we were really consistent in our own serves, had a high first serve percentage and we moved well at the net and, uh, and we just trusted each other the whole way. This was for sure one of the best doubles matches we've played this year, so it was really good. We just heard from Coach Center, but I'm curious from, from your perspective as one of the senior leaders, what does this team need to do better to have a real chance at the Big 12 title and the NCAA tournament coming up? Well, I, th I think we've been doing pretty well uh, all season, but I think it's all about the, the, the small things uh, from now on. We're, we're on the right path, but I think it's really just about giving an extra 10% every time we practice and kind of keep in mind as an individual, what you need to improve for, for the next time you play. So I think we, we're doing the right things right now, but I think still think we can kind of do everything a little bit better. Uh, obviously today we could we could have done better with the energy and doubles, but I think singles look look really good. And, and I think we're, we're, we have more energy in singles now that we had earlier in the season. I think um, the guys who are not playing are doing a better job in cheering the guys on. So I think we're really on the right path. I just think it's a, an extra 10% in the weight room, an extra 10% on the court. Uh, an extra 10% off the court as well, like making sure we do everything right. So you know, it's, it's looking good right now. I'm pretty confident. All right, Soren, thanks a lot. You're a great representative of Denmark and of this Longhorn program. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you.